one more time for Timothy McGay. I think it's funny that Heather likes to talk shit about straight white males as if she doesn't spend her entire life trying to be one. Austin is a uh, Austin is not what I expected it to be. I expected to get off the plane and just see a bunch of dudes in cargo shorts tell me the Cowboys are taking it this year. But uh, it's just a bunch of people that look like me. Uh, I uh, recently found out I look like a sketchy person, which is weird because I look like I'd steal from your house if you left me alone. Uh, but I found out I look like a sketchy person when I went to 7-Eleven to buy cigarettes. And when I got there, uh, the lady asked for my ID, and I was like confused. I was like, "We well, don't think I'm old enough." And she looked me right in the eyes and said, "No, I'm just making sure you didn't steal the credit card you're using." <laughs> it's really nice when people that make minimum wage want to talk shit to you. Uh, for some reason, it happens to me more often than not. I feel like if the lady at the Taco Bell by my house doesn't stop being such a bitch to me, I might fall in love with her. I went to Taco Bell the other day and the lady was like, I know where I recognize you from. You're in Blink-182. It's like, ma'am, if I was in Blink-182, do you think I'd be eating at this Taco Bell for the second time today? I'm at the financial point in my life where even if I got food poisoning from Taco Bell, I'd still eat there the next day. And I only know this because it's happened to me twice already. They uh, recently announced that you can get married at the Taco Bell in Las Vegas for $600. And when they announced that, about 45 of my Facebook friends posted it on my wall, which is funny that these people think I have $600. <laughs> but uh, yeah, people like to judge me by the way I look all the time. Uh, I was taking an Uber recently, or I was taking an Uber four years ago when I wrote this joke. And uh, <laughs> I got in the car and my black Uber driver is listening to reggae. And he turned around and looked at me, and he put on Green Day. I don't know if that's racist or hospitable. Like, is that one star or five star behavior? I think if he would have put on old Green Day, I would have given him five stars. But he put on American Idiot, so I think he was just trying to call me a poser. So he got one star, probably cannot drive for Uber anymore. Hope he's got another job, they usually do not. Uh, speaking of reggae, does anyone else here think that reggae is probably the most inappropriate type of music to be the cop's theme song? Think like a kid rock song or that drowning pool song, let the bodies hit the floor might be a little more appropriate. I don't think the Jamaican reggae band Inner Circle wrote the 1987 song Bad Boys, hoping that one day in the future it would be used as the anthem of police brutality footage. Sounds more like a song you smoke weed to. Is what I'm usually doing when I watch Cops. Now every time I hear that song, I'm just like, oh shit, it's the soundtrack of someone's dog getting shot. I, uh, I went into work a couple months ago. When I got there, the vice president and president of the company are meeting with my boss. So I went up to all my coworkers and made the cheesy joke. I was like, who's getting fired? Turns out it was me. <laughs> so I had to get a new job and I actually got a much better job somehow. It was going well for a while until one day my boss got mad at me and said she was going to throw a shoe at me. And I was like, I'll dodge it just like that time George Bush did. And she was like, yeah, but he saw that coming. And what I shouldn't have said back was, just like 9-11. <laughs> so I drive for Uber too. Uh, <laughs> I did that joke in Key West to a bunch of old white people.